So, where is Kamala? Is she going to do a press conference? Is she going to debate Donald Trump? There's been a whole bunch of these questions come up about Kamala. First, I'm done with these idiots. The Secret Service and all of the persons in charge of protecting the citizens. But before we do, before we do, I need you to detonate that subscribe button. Subscribe to me, the Marine Rapper. I do news, politics, military, and music reactions every single day. So you want to keep it locked. You want to keep it locked. So let's get into a couple things. First of all, Donald Trump just said, hey, I'm down to debate you. Let's do it September 4th because, you know, there's primaries and early voting and all that type of stuff going on. Um, and she's like, nah, she wants to do it later, like around September 10th. And she's like, whatever happened to any time, any place, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, what? Like you guys switch up everything on the democratic side so much. And then now you expect the Republican side to adapt and kind of like form to your schedule and stuff like that. You guys did a whole switcheroo. But when Donald says, Hey, listen, I'll debate you, but it needs to be with Fox and it needs to be on September 4th. You ain't, you ain't feeling it. So there's all that looming in the air as well. Um, and then also it seems like Kamala doesn't want to do press conferences and stuff. I actually have a, a new story about that and I want to get into that video. So we'll get into that video. But the first thing that I need to do is I need to, honey, I shrunk the kids there we go i'm down there i'm down there i'm in there i'm in there like swimwear i am in there you know when i first heard the term in there like swimwear i'm like what is that oh <laughs> i didn't know what in there like swimwear meant until you know until somebody had told me what had happened was you know what i mean so i i had no idea what in there like swimwear was meaning but now i know and now that i know i'm like okay thanks for sharing i guess you know i i, I guess thank you but i got like tmi now now i have tmi you told me tmi tmi of something you gave tmr too much info i just had to put the border up on me I was, you know, monitoring my border. Unlike some folk. Unlike some folk. What's that, Biden? What'd you say? Double chocolate chocolate chip. Uh, I guess Biden doesn't have anything to say, but anyways, I'm pretty sure this Fox News segment will have plenty to say. Um, it says that you will see Liz Cheney poolside at Trump's Mar-a-Lago Resort compound facility whatever you want to call it before you will ever see kamala harris the vice president of the united states do a press conference so i want to see what that's about i want to get into it because a lot of people in the america in the united states of america are like where's kamala where's kamala like just like where's waldo and stuff so we don't know what's going on we really don't but we're, let's let's find out Let's really find out here. Let's let's see what's going on because I don't know what, what's going on. I don't know why there isn't press conferences and debates happening on Fox because I see it everywhere else. But let's get it on Fox, you know. So let's get it on Fox with Trump and and Kamala and all that. But let's listen to what these guys have to say. It gets to secure the Democratic nomination, achieving that feat despite never winning a point. I didn't I didn't hear that. All I see is a blue Smurf suit. Let's go all the way back. Oh my gosh, is that scary to y'all, that blue Smurf suit? And she's like. Is that scary to y'all? The laugh is enough, but the blue suit and poking out the curtains like. It's scary. Anyways, let's keep going. Vice President Kamala Harris has now earned enough delegates to secure the Democratic nomination, achieving that feat despite cap, never cap, winning. Cap, 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 earned, cap, cap cap earned lies 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 no way no 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 there wasn't any primaries there wasn't any democratic process listen to blm listen to blm i'm i'm, I'm agreeing with blm 
where's the democratic process are we just gonna throw anybody in there what are we doing what are we doing obviously not the democratic process oh boy a primary but you won't hear harris talking by never winning a primary but you won't hear harris talking about it she still hasn't held a formal press conference since emerging as the presumptive nominee. It's a move that appears to echo Joe Biden's lack of engagement back in 2020. So is she copying his campaign playbook? Let's ask Fox News contributor Joe Concha. It is interesting. We're seeing these poll numbers showing that, you know, she's, you know, neck and neck with Donald Trump. But before this nomination, she was at 28 percent. What's happening? Precisely. I'm glad you brought up the approval rating because yeah, I want to know what's going on. I want to know what's going on. Something is screwy. Screwy. Something isn't right. If they will cover up the fact that Biden is in mental decline, they're going to cover up other things. There's a new yes. one out this morning. 39% job approval rating. That's in Reuters, Ipsos. Yet she's the greatest candidate ever. And isn't it ironic? that the party that says only it can save us and save democracy has a candidate that in 2020 didn't receive one vote as a presidential candidate. And now in 2024, to your point, not one vote. And the Yo, look at that Smurf suit. Look, look, it's a Smurf suit. La, 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 la. Smurf suit. La, 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 la. Smurf suit. And the media doesn't seem to care because they're dusting off the pom-poms too much. And it's just amazing that there is zero accountability for this candidate that has changed positions more than, you know, Dirk Diggler. And no one seems. <laughs> Yo, you got to be careful saying that, homie. You got to be saying you got to be careful saying that, homie, because you said change positions. You said change because. You guys know I'm a fool. Take care. <laughs> okay, well, she got that. She'll try to process that one. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's fascinating. I mean, to me, it feels like the media, even the, some of this polling, is more about shaping people's opinion than mm. actually reflecting it. Because the American people, prior to the, all the hype around this announcement, said they didn't like what she had to stand for. And by the way, how is she going to separate herself from Joe Biden's record? I mean, it's, it seems impossible. Yes, on inflation, that jobs yes. report we got yesterday. Or she's not the borders are. I mean, how are they going to get away with this stuff? Or her own past comments. It's crazy because it's like, what have you done? Because in 2020, nobody wanted you as president. And then you're inheriting all of the accomplishments of Biden. But Biden... But you, if you if you inherit that, you have to inherit everything. So accomplishments of Biden, whatever that may be. And were you at the border? Did you do what you're supposed to do? Did you visit certain places? Were you vice presidential? Did you do all those things? That's what we're asking. Did those things happen? And don't be like, oh, yeah, I didn't get to do nothing because they didn't let me do. No, 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 no. KGP, no. K what? KJP, new. No as well as you kamala harris knew exactly what was going on with president joe biden but y'all just let a mental decline eating that double chocolate chocolate chip literally made him a laughing stock in public during that debate versus trump that that right there that should disqualify you right there. That should disqualify Kamala. Hiding the fact that a person that she really admires is declining. It doesn't matter if he's a fighter and he's stubborn. Hey, bro, you got to get out of here, bro. I cannot sit here and watch you decline and decline and decline and decline. I can't do it. I can't do it. Right? right she has said she wants to ban fracking it's on video 100 yeah. percent behind it and what the frack <laughs> fossil fuels abolish ice 
opposes border wall construction, supports sanctuary cities, supports biological men playing against biological women in sports. We saw how it worked out in boxing in the Olympics. This is a per well, that whole boxing situation. They're dispelling that rumor right there. Um, there's a whole bunch of like genetic things going on with that individual who was actually boxing some of that Algerian uh, boxer was boxing somebody else. There's actually some some other things like an intersex type of thing. And then you see that individual as a woman their whole life as a as a female their whole life. So there's a, a thing there. I don't I don't the reason why I'm trying to correct that thing is because when it happens i don't want it to be like the boy who cried wolf i want it to be pungent i want it to be concentrated i want it to be factual and actual that's what i want it to be person who says she wants to end all private health insurance right. all while giving free health care to illegals i could go down the list in, in terms of crime to fund the police and so on but this is a record that it will only come out rachel if there is a debate between donald trump and Kamala Harris on this network. Donald Trump agreed to it for early September. Right. That's the only way all this comes out because the media, she's not going to. That's what I said. I said early September. He wanted to do it early September, like September 4th or something like that, because there's an early voting period, like September 6th, something like that in, in certain places. So why won't she do it if, if she's going to save democracy and save the nation? And all of that extra stuff, if that's going to happen, what's so hard showing up for a debate against somebody that is scared of you? Former President Donald Trump. If, if he's just so, so scared, if he's so, ooh, Mufasa. Ooh. It's funny because she laughs like a hyena. Ooh. I just don't get that. I'm going to do one interview with anybody resembling an actual journalist. You'll find Liz Cheney poolside at Mar-a-Lago before you find Kamala Harris doing a press conference. That I do know. Well, it's very interesting because before uh, Joe Biden's debate that essentially ended his presidency, his yeah. performance there, the Democrats were basically hinting we're not going to do debates. And then suddenly they wanted to get rid of Joe Biden and they threw him into a debate. Yeah. Um, they obviously want Kamala to win. This is the, I mean, w w of course they do. So you think they might be able to... I... What I think is the only thing that could happen is they're trying to put all that race baiting and the black and Indian and ethnicity and all that type of stuff in there and infuse that in there and kind of like distract people from the actual issues. Because the thing is, is this. Let's be serious, y'all. Seriously, if you're watching me, whether you're a Democrat, Republican, independent, wherever. What are the policies of each candidate and how are they qualified to run the nation and look? Putin in the eyes and be like you better drop that nuke button controller or we're gonna drop on you and that's what we're gonna do don't make us send in one of the few the proud the marines if you know what I mean can you do that if you can't do that if you can't see Kamala looking Putin in the eye saying something like that that's the wrong person for the nation. Or do you or, or just admit, hey, I, I just I just I understand what you're saying. Still going to vote for Kamala because I hate Trump. Then that makes sense. But don't ever say that. She has a better track record of leadership and of policy, because I don't see none of that yet. There's people on the streets that have no idea who Kamala is or know where she is where where is kamala where's kamala keep her out of a debate will the american people stand for that they cannot stand for that but i think they do not want her to debate yet they're saying that donald trump is a coward and doesn't want to debate kamala harris you know the guy who just took a bullet a couple of weeks ago and the fact told you donald trump a coward that don't even sound that those two words don't even go together you just got hit in the air with a bullet and instead of cowering down and running away and crying and laying on the floor and waiting for people to pick you up and carry you out, you stand up and you pump your fist and say fight at doggone almost 80 years old. Donald Trump may be a lot of things, but one thing's for sure, 
And two things for certain, Donald Trump is not a coward. That Kamala Harris, again, doesn't take any questions for the press, but oh yeah, Donald Trump's the coward. She is the coward. She didn't even show up to the National Association of Black Journalists, right? Couldn't show up there live because she knew there was a Harris Faulkner waiting there who would actually ask questions about policy that would remain in, in relevant to the American people. Yeah, anyone that can call Donald Trump, President Donald Trump, after the way he reacted to being shot in the head, a coward is somebody who's just completely delusional or a liar. Yeah. Um, and, and by the way, they know he's not a coward, which is why they're trying to suppress the story, suppress the- Everybody knows he's not a coward. He went into the lion's den of the National Association for Black Journalists knowing that they would grill him, but he still went there and, stood, and, and he stood on his own two feet. First out of the gate, they were being rude and nasty to him immediately. And let's take all the, the color, the black, the white out of the situation. If you meet somebody, you start to talk to somebody and they just start start to talk to you and say, oh, I don't like your hat. I don't like your jacket. Why, why is your shirt like that? Why is your pants like that? Before they say hello, good morning, how are you? Screw you, whatever. Some type of a salutation, you will be pissed too. And that's what he was. On top of the fact that the National Association for Black Journalists, their audio sucked. The journalist audio sucked. How? Your journalist. How did your audio suck? Especially at that level. Yes, if you're doing it alone, you're a podcaster or a YouTuber or whatever, you still kind of checking out these tutorials and trying to figure some stuff out. Because I did. I for sure did. Now I can do stuff like this. Because I figured out my stuff. But look. Donald Trump went into the National Association for Black Journalists, into the lion's den, and still stood on his two. Where was Kamala or Kamala? Everybody says it different. It's Kamala. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Kamala. Anyways, let's keep moving. The picture um, and say that it's photoganda, propaganda to put out that picture. I want to talk about your book because it's called Progressively Worse. Why Today's Democrats Ain't Your Daddy's Donkey. Um, I love this title. Um, I come from a family of union. Okay, Joe Concha, you are wildin'. Because it looks like you got, let's see who you got here. I think that's AOC. That's, uh, who's that big guy with that wears the hoodie? That's Obama. I don't know who this is, and I just see a donkey, and they're all riding a donkey. Oh, this is, I think this is Newsom. I think this is Gavin. Forget this guy. He's from Pennsylvania, but it's, He's always a trip because he's like just chilling, wearing a hoodie and stuff. Anyways, Joe Concha, you wildin'. And Democrats, um, yeah. but uh, on my father's side. But my father became a Republican because the Democrat Party left him. Yeah. Um, here we are. And, and that was back in the Reagan years. I oh, mean, wow. th this is completely un. un uh, you don't, just don't know who the Democrats are anymore. Unrecognizable. Unrecognizable. Guys yeah, the. <laughs> I feel like back in the Reagan years, the Democrats were better than they are now. Now it's like, <sighs> man, at least they had some common sense, yo. I'm not saying people didn't have no faults because I'm pretty sure they did. But now it's just like too crazy, too ridiculous. It's like Bill Maher even say that now on his show. Like John F. Kennedy, this is yeah. a guy who aggressively cut taxes, beefed right? up the military, rejected racial quotas. We had a Democrat. Went after the intelligence state was was was, right. was against wars. That's exactly right. Which the Democrat Party seems to be in favor of these days. They're, a lot of them. They're very much. <laughs> yes, they're very about that war. They're very about that battle. But they say they're not, but they are. So they're about these wars, and they want to go fight wars and and send our young men and women out to war, but then take the guns away from us here in the United States of America in the U.S. of A. That's messed up. Messed up. The party of war. We actually had a democratic president in our lifetime oh, who was pro-life. Imagine. He said the party of war. Yeah, the party of war. It's it's always three letters. Democrat is the party of W A R. Right. Right. Um. And the second three letters is the party of the. You guys know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Yes. That Jimmy Carter, right? Now, that they're, they're practically extinct within the party as far yeah. as being pro-life. Yo, speaking of Jimmy Carter, speaking of Jimmy Carter, Jimmy Carter wants to endorse Kamala Harris 
for president and vote for her before he dies. He's like, hopefully I can make it to my 100th birthday so I can vote for Kamala Harris for president coming up. Jimmy Carter wants to do that. So they want to roll him out and they want him to check that box. It's like, and, it, and it's funny, I saw a joke on, on X. They said, hey, what's the rush, buddy? You know how Democrats do. What's the rush? You know what I'm talking about, chat. Chat, let me know if you know what I'm talking about, chat. Chat, tell me, chat. The last one, di uh, you know, the last one di that was a pro-lifer was in Pennsylvania, and he's gone. That's right. And, mm -hmm. and the, but Bill Clinton, I think, is the biggest contrast because this is a guy who actually was smart enough to work with Republicans like Newt Gingrich. Mm -hmm. Balanced budget amendment. What's that? Don't spend what you don't have. We actually had budget surpluses in the 90s. This is a guy who said the era of big government is over, ended the welfare state, you know, shrank government. And Bill Clinton, the way he talked about illegal immigration, made Donald Trump almost sound like a wallflower in terms of we're yeah. going to get the illegals out of here. They're taking good jobs away from Americans. Well, Deport them all. And even Barack Obama was called the deporter in chief because he. <laughs> People don't realize the history. There has been some Democrats that talked about getting immigrants out of here and not legal immigrants. They're talking about illegal immigrants. Get them out of here because they're taking jobs from people who actually live here. So many people. Cesar Chavez was against illegal immigration. <laughs> it's a great um, point. People forget about that one. Yep. Cesar Chavez. Cesar Chavez was against illegal immigration. What does that tell you, folks? Um, yeah, it's not your daddy's um, Democrat Party. And that will be on, if, you know, the, the Republicans are the party of the working class. Um, now they're the party of elites. And you know, war. And war. And war. Boy, things have changed. But buy the book and you read all about it. Uh, well, it's a great book. It's a great read. And we thank you for coming in. We want you to come back and talk. Yeah. So the only other thing that we got to figure out, we know where to get the book. We know what was going on back during Reagan. We know who was deporting guys and females out of this country. But the one thing we don't know is where's Kamala? Where's Kamala? Where is Kamala? Where is she at? We don't know. We don't know. So there hasn't been a press conference like they said or anything like that. And this is as of now because who knows if this video will age well or not. She may come out because she saw this video and like, man, that that dude, the Marine rapper on YouTube was saying that I won't pop out and look at me. Now I'm about to pop out. So you know how these things go. Hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to me, the Marine Rapper, if you like news, politics, military, and music reactions, because I do them every single day inside this squeaky chair. And with that, I will see you after I grow up. I will see you on the next reaction. Out.